Sorry, you caught me slapping again. I don't know, maybe it's all those clinics I've done with that other short guy that plays a four string bass and slaps pretty well. Um, today, I wanna to touch on an exercise that I get asked about a good bit as well, and uh, it's called the hazard exercise. It's, it's on my website, and uh, uh, we always teach it at our base camps, but it's kind of yoga for your left hand. Um, it involves a very simple pattern at first in the left hand. It just is this pattern. F, F sharp, A sharp, B, so we're just going up like this. Very exaggerated movement, so you can see them there. And then we come down like this. Still chromatic. Half step, down a fourth. And then we go back up again, starting on the G. G, G sharp. Now what's interesting there, you've seen this finger stays where it stopped and that finger, first finger, stays where it stopped on the G-sharp. So it's kind of interesting in that it's like yoga. You reach out, you get a pose, you hold it, and then you move on to other things while holding that. Now, I don't do yoga, but that's what I've heard from my wife who does yoga. Um, so check it out very slowly. Notice my first finger staying down while my second and third are coming back down. Now my second finger stays on that G flat. Check it out. So what does that give me? That gives me some huge independence on my third and fourth fingers, which is something that we all want. Not many people can do that, or they're not aware of it if they can. We can do it with our first and second fingers, a lot of us with our uh, second and third. Can we do it with our third and fourth? That comes from this exercise. That's only half of the exercise. So let's do it all again together. F, F sharp, D sharp, E, G sharp, A. First finger stays down. Second finger stays down. Now pay attention, shifting coming into play. So I shift up to a C with my second finger, and then I do the opposite, like the mirror image of, of the exercise. So I'll go C, B, G, G flat. And just like the first half, my first finger stays there, and this is where it gets even harder. And I'm coming back up. Now my second finger stays there, while my third and fourth work their way back down. I've still got a C here, and if I lift this finger, I end up with the A flat there. I'm still holding those notes. So I'm holding these two notes while my third and finger are at work, the whole exercise. And, and another beauty of this exercise, and I love to multitask, is now I'll work on my right hand alternation while I'm doing this yoga for my left hand. Notice those fingers are down. Shift smoothly. First finger stays down. First finger. Notice I'm... Uh, so and so, so on, so forth, all the way up the fingerboard. It's so great, my left hand is feeling it right now just from doing that. Now you can take these exercises, that's the first one and there are about four of them that I work on. The second phase of it is I'll do the same pattern but I'll skip strings. and so on and so forth, they, they, my fingers stay down and also get a great workout for my right hand as I'm alternating, I'm crossing strings, which is another technique that we all need to have down and have smoothly so we don't create a lot of finger noise and, and uh, when we're recording in the studio or when we're playing live or anywhere, it's smooth, the hazard exercise. <laughs> Oh, you ask, can you do it on a five or six string, those of you that have them there? 
Funny you should ask. It gets more painful and more scary on these other multi-stringed basses. But when I pick up this six string, fretless even, I'm gonna attempt it, which is really silly when you think about it, but that's why we're here, right? Hazard exercise. And I'm starting on my low C. Notice my first finger staying right where it was on that C sharp. Here's another C sharp that my second finger stays on. And then I work my way up like this. Very hard to maintain that position. Then I shift. And this is where it gets ridiculously, stupidly hard, painfully hard. It's, it's, it's rude. Notice these two fingers are staying where they are and I've got to work my way back down. Now this finger up under the cuticle of my finger, of my fingernail, is still that F. I'm still playing it on the C string and I can still get to E flat with my first finger. So what am I getting from this? Just a huge amount of stretching and exercise and there's nobody, I've never come across anybody to be able to, that is able to do this the first time. It takes a little bit of practice each day to get that kind of finger independence in my left hand. But what it really affords me, as you can hear, it doesn't matter which finger I'm on, I've got the dexterity to cross strings with my third and fourth just as well as I do with my first and second. That's a valuable asset. Try that at home.